I built a new computer and it got me thinking, is Windows 10 or Windows 11 better for gaming? I think the results are gonna shock you. Now straight up, I personally don't like using Windows 11 because I feel like they're trying to grab at your wallet more than ever. Too many prompts to buy crap at setup. I mean, look at this, subscription after subscription. Why would I pay that reoccurring when I can get it for $28 from WhoKeys using code IFR25 as a one-time purchase not reoccurring. And they now require a sign-in, which by the way, can actually be bypassed. When you get to this screen, press Shift F10, type O-O-B-E slash bypass NRO, and then hit enter. It will reset and then you'll have the option pop up where you can actually skip internet connection. This is also why I don't like giving them our money when it comes to activating Windows. They wanna charge me $199 just to enable a few personalization features. No, I would rather spend $23, grab myself a Windows 11 Pro key from Who Keys who I've been using for two years now. The only difference is these are OEM, meaning that when you go to upgrade your PC in five years, you just purchase another key. Now Who Keys have their new year sale, but I'm able to get you guys a 25% discount because I've been using them for many years now. You could use code IFR25. So you could get Windows 11 Pro for 23 bucks and Windows 10 Pro for only $17. And by the way, a little trick to save you guys a bit of money, Buy the Windows 10 Pro key, install Windows 10 Pro on your PC, and get the free upgrade to Windows 11 Pro if that is what you want to do. You'll save a bit of money. There are plenty of payment methods with 24-hour support, and you'll get your code instantly. All you have to do is go to the user center, go to view keys and codes, copy your code, and then start typing activate here and paste it in. Now that I have it activated, I've already tested gaming performance in Windows 10. Now I wanna test Windows 11. I've chosen to use games with inbuilt benchmarks because they are easily repeatable. If I'm in Windows 10 and I'm following a path in game, in Windows 11, if I'm slightly off that path, that is going to slightly vary the FPS. And I don't know how close Windows 10 and Windows 11 are in performance. So I wanna minimize any factors that can affect the FPS. While average FPS is important and we will be documenting it, I think the 1% lows are even more important for a smoother gameplay experience. First of all, let's take a look at the numbers and then we'll talk about the results as a whole. Both Metro Exodus in 4K and 1080p show a favor for Windows 11. Both see an average FPS gain of around 5 to 6%. Our 1% lows also favor Windows 11, meaning that we'll get a smoother gameplay experience by around 5%. I find the Red Dead Redemption 2 results to be the most interesting. While Windows 11 wins out for both 4K and 1080p for average FPS, by around 1% to 4%. The gameplay is actually so much smoother on Windows 10 by 17%. Now these two games were the anomalies. However, we'll start to see a reoccurring theme here. We'll have smoother gameplay and better FPS for Windows 10. Let's take a look. Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Average FPS is 6 to 10% better on Windows 10. We also found the 1% lows to be 5 to 9% better on Windows 10 for a smoother gameplay experience. Rainbow Six Siege, we found Windows 10 to be better by 10% in 4K. However, as we lower the resolution to 1080p, it was only 2% better in Windows 10. Our 1% lows were 8 to 9% better on Windows 10 once again. So we seem to have more favor with these games in Windows 10, especially with the 1% lows, apart from Metro Exodus as an outlier. But I personally was not entirely satisfied with these results. Every single game that we showed you guys predates the launch of Windows 11, and that came out in 2021. So I decided to sell my house and purchase another four games, each of them dated after 2021. I wanted to see if their optimization is more suited to Windows 11 rather than Windows 10. Now guys, these results were so shocking that I ran each test five times just to check that I wasn't making any mistakes. I even reinstalled some of the older games that I'd already benchmarked just to make sure I was getting the same results. Black Myth Wukong, I saw Windows 11 outperform Windows 10 by 30% in both 1080p and 4K. All settings were exactly the same because I documented before for each test which settings I had applied. 1% lows were 34 to 42% better in Windows 11. Now let's just say I did get a setting wrong. Why am I seeing a replication in results in the following games. Horizon Zero Dawn Remastered, between 21 and 36% better FPS on average 
depending on your resolution. The smoothness of gameplay, 50% better in Windows 11. At this point, I'm seriously considering whether I got a setting wrong or not, but every single setting is the same. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, average FPS between 9% and 22% better in Windows 11. And Windows 11 is smoother by only 3% in 4K, but 1080p jumps to 40%. Avatar Frontiers of Pandora, average FPS was a lot closer at 5 to 8% but that is still significant. 1% lows show 4 to 7% favor towards Windows 11. Now guys, if every single game is better by a large margin, but the older games, I'm still getting the exact same results as when I first tested them. I was just not expecting such a big difference between Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now I'm currently downloading Metro Exodus again because I want to test another game because those results are just mind blowing to me. So I ran the older games again and all the numbers seem to check out. So what can we conclude from this? If you're playing older games, it seems that Windows 10 is more suited for those. Not only average FPS, but also the smoothness of the gameplay, your 1% lows. Newer games seem to be more optimized for Windows 11. And not only just by a bit, but by a large margin. Now, whether or not it is just this pool of four games that have these large margins, I'm not sure. Two of the four games, the margins were a little more respectable. However, the other two were just miles apart. So I think it comes down to individual preference. If you prefer to play older games, then maybe Windows 10 is for you. If you prefer newer games, then maybe Windows 11 is for you. Either way, in my opinion, the older games, the percentage different is not great, but the newer games, I am just still amazed at how much better they performed on Windows 11. So for me, I am going to be sticking with Windows 11. I just think the optimization is greater for newer things. And if any of you guys have done testing of your own guys between Windows 10 and 11, let me know know what games you tested and what the results were down below. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you all in the next one.